welcome back. Happy Saturday. Today's Shave Soap is from Declaration Grooming. It's a Saturday morning with the Barbershop Duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Saturday mornings... We are the Barbershop Duet. We were looking for a fun channel to start together, and we had just decided to dive into the world of artisan shaving soaps. So here we all are together. Second episode. And I wanted to do something a little bit different from the beach barbershop that we started with, so I found my way over to Declaration Grooming, and boy, do they have some cool stuff. <laughs> website they list this son et lumiere son sound and light is a distant cousin petrichor esque sent to bangarang where bangarang is a rainy adventure in the woods son et lumiere is a drizzly autumn walk through a clean city leaves pavement and the distant scent of rain make a crisp approachable yet nuanced accord very detailed. <laughs> what in the world is this going to smell like? It just makes you use your imagination <laughs> to even be like, wait. I know, it? that was why. I basically <laughs> looked for a scent where I was like, that sounds great, but I have no clue how you're going to achieve it. So that's why I'm, I guess I'm most excited. Yeah, no, I see why you picked it for sure. Yeah. All right, it's time. Okay, This has unboxing. been sitting on the piano for so long. I've been so curious. All right. So, oh, this is, this is from... Declaration Grooming. Directly lovely, from them. Lovely box and stuff. Let's see what's inside. Okay. There it is. It's fun that Ooh. they have their own exact shape size yeah. box. That oh, comes no. Jelly beans. We got a freebie. Hey. For the first season, at, at least, we're going to try to order directly from the manufacturer so that you can see how they pack and ship. And here it is. Look at that. Has a batch number on the back. Very official. Side label so you can see it in our cabinet. I love that. So, you ready? I guess so. I have no idea what this is gonna smell like. I'm so <laughs> yeah, excited. I'm intrigued. Is it gonna be like pirates? Is it gonna be right, like, like more earthy or more? I don't watery? know. I don't know. Let's see. Pirates might be a good thing. To think. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Wow, that's a beautiful color. Wow, it's cool to see how the shape a of like pour. They got Mark calls it a pour. I think yeah, we may have to check it. Okay, but let's yes. see. You smell first. Wow. <laughs> it's familiar, but I can't tell you what it is. Yeah? Yeah, see what you think. Okay, here we go. Ready? Whoa. It's like a time warp, but I don't know where it took me. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Oh, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's not... Um, it's not as wet pavement-y. I don't know if that even makes but sense. But what I love is it's not traditional. Right. They're, they're, um, like, my brain is right now going, what smells like this? What smells like this? What smells like this? Nothing smells like this. I cannot figure out where it's taking me. I mean, me. it smells great. Yeah. I can smell the leaves. Can you smell the leaves? Are you sure it's autumn? Oh, yeah. Maybe that is what I'm smelling. Yeah. But wet leaves, not... I don't know if that makes sense, but... Although we have not gotten to the scent profiles yet! <laughs> There's a little bit of a problem finding the scent profile notes for this from the creator. Uh, they don't list them on their website. But wait till you hear why. It's actually really cool. Yeah, they don't want you to have anything preset in mind. Whether reading right. it would turn you off or maybe you have high expectations getting it and wanting to smell that exact scent. Should I tell a secret? I bought some soap once that when I first <laughs> smelled it, I went, wow, this is amazing. And then I read on the label that it had right. patchouli in it. Yes. And then I went, ew. Mm -hmm. But like... Then I realized, no, it's kind of the patchouli that well, brought it's it funny, together. Scent, you know, scents can really take you to different places. And if you yeah. have like a bad memory with a different scent or something, I can see why you're like, no, I'm never going to like it again. But surprisingly, I don't know what this is made of yeah. necessarily. I mean, I get their blurb of like where they want us to take it. But I am not a scent enthusiast enough to be able to dictate what exact things yeah. I'm smelling. It's, this, this one's tricky because we're, we're not real practiced at fragrances yet. You know, I almost kind of smell a little leathery. I know that's yeah. not like, you know, like when you get wet in the rain, like if your leather jacket got a little wet. There seems to be a couple of smells that don't combine for me. Right. But maybe that's what they and mean I, by I like, like the, the layers, you know, like right. what that first scent you get, the second scent. Right. The first, the, the first scent we did was um, a Beach Barbershop Good Vibrations by Phoenix. And it was really cool how they, the scents all blended together really beautifully to go, right. like, make a picture. But this for me is almost like, here's this. Yeah. You done? Okay. Now here's this, right? It's like yeah. totally separate. 
I know it's weird, but it's like people talk about it, like drinking wine too, and like you know having oh, I guess. The, you know, yeah. but it's like a weird, more of a different scent of like. I'd love to try a wine that tastes like street and leaves. That <laughs> Clearly, we need to up our verbiage the, here. But A nice Sauvignon concrete. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. this It's just, it doesn't smell like anything I've smelled before. Do you want to do the lather with it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you put, just put a little on the brush? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll activate the we were here. Yeah, we were told. Very important. This is a, a really cool bowl that we got from Vanillet. We heard about it from the Sicilian Shaver. And uh, Mark, what's Mark's last name? Saratsky? Sarati. Sarati, yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Mark Sarati just did a video on, on this bowl. Super cool bowl. Wow. While he's lathering, though, I'll show this up to the camera so you can see how little amount. Yeah. Oh. They say to use like an almond. Oh, I got some. Uh oh, now you made a mess. Yeah. Thanks, okay. I'll have some. <laughs> Maybe it smells different on the skin. So we're not making like a shave lather right now. We're just no, no. like combining some water with it to smell it. Okay. Huh? That's my line. I, smell different? You, you kind of made them blend better. Yeah, it did. You know, like you were just saying <laughs> yeah, how, <it> <laughs> how they were very separate. Now I don't feel like yeah, they're it separate. Did. Right? Well, okay. Now I get it. <laughs> so now I get this. it. Two. <laughs> One. I yep. was getting like three. <laughs> <laughs> No, this, okay, this is why they were like, you have to make a lather, because right. it, it helps to... It activates or blends it. I don't know, air, it's not, aerates not a thing, but... Yeah. Wow. No, wow, yeah. It's so much better. It It's like, activates the smell. Yeah. I don't know if just putting a little water in there is enough to make it that happen, but... Wow. And, and look smell. at the lather. <laughs> like I said, we're not, yeah. It's not like a shaving, we're not going to shave, but... No. But as best we can to bring the smell to life wow, here. Oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it smells completely different. Yeah, I wonder if the honeycomb bowl really helps too. Like it spaces. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't I have know. no idea. Oh, We're a couple clearly things. Learning. Yeah, yeah. We, we realized about the bowl that's really cool. It Because of the honeycomb, it holds a lot more water than you'd think. Right. So when you go to, if you've just washed it out and you go to put the soap, the soap in, it's like start with just a little bit of a wet brush because it's already got. A, more water in there than you think. When you go to shake it out, it's really kind right. Of even I didn't think that was going to get as lathery as that did. So right, and I didn't put I don't think as much for even a shave in there. Yeah, they have made this. Wow. And they say to lather until it becomes iridescent, until it gets that like sheen to it. So. But it already seemed like that was enough to get the smell. Yeah. Alive, let alone the lather alive. Wow. Well. Okay, so where are we taking this? All right, so we actually came up with a few questions for this soap because we figured the soaps have personalities. Why not interview them? Okay, what do you got? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to ask you. Uh, well, what city does this, because it's it's city and leaves, right? What city does it make you think of? I, I you feel, don't have to have been there. No, I, it imagine. almost makes me feel more like international, like old town ah. Italian or you've French been, or something. You've been there. Yeah, and it was really raining in Italy oh, the whole cool. time. So I wonder, yeah, I just feel like, I don't want to say it's like an old town, but it has age in... Ooh, like yeah, wet yeah, clay yeah. from okay. somewhere or something like oh like for old, sure old brick roads or something that have like you can smell the age in them not i can kind of smell like the town like i feel like thought. i smell like the people that would live there <laughs> i don't know yeah. if that makes sense and i kind of like 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 i said it's not something i've smelled before no i don't think it so i you know okay. question what I, oh are you <laughs> yeah it is cute <laughs> what is this soap's favorite movie okay only because we were huh. just talking about italy <laughs> um, I thought Italian job because they oh, are in right. downtown and there's all of the men that are in that movie I kind of picture may use this I picture almost like old I dudes can, playing this chess this is weird is but weird? You, you remember the movie Monster House oh yeah the neighbor just because I saw like really colorful leaves and really colorful streets no you know what it smells like like oh. a sleepy hollow oh I could tell it yeah because sleepy hollow doesn't have something sweet you know like it doesn't have like this doesn't really have like a sweet yeah Play. We'll need to look into what the petrichor fragrance means. That might be part of our issue. Because I don't know if this is like concrete. It's a distant I think cousin. It's, I think I'm getting these mixed up. I think there was one that smells more like concrete, and there's one mm. that smells more like street. Okay. And I think this is the one that smells more like street. Fantastic job, because this doesn't smell like anything I've known before, and I can't wait to use it. I know. I feel like it's a, it would make your, you know, whenever you're wearing it or have used it, like whatever memories happen are going to stick to that smell. Yeah, is that sure. weird? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Hey, get your own. 
So yeah, head over to their website is um, down right now, or we would show it to you that yeah, you're on vacation. Yeah, everyone's updating websites, but this is what this one is. In case you wanted to be able and to see it. And most distributors have it. Um, but you can also go to Declaration Grooming and get it there, which is where we got it. Yeah, their site should be up by the time this video is live. Yeah. So you should be okay to find it. All right, I'm back from using the new lather on my legs, which in the past I used to use a latherless cream. Um, and even before that, I did use more of like the shave foam version. So this was kind of a nice feel in between. I'm still new to the safety razor, but with the lather, it smelled, it felt much smoother. Um, and even after the shave, there was no nicks or anything, but my legs felt a little softer and smoother. Like whatever was in the lather stayed maybe or conditioned my skin or something. So it felt really, really nice. I will definitely be using it again. <laughs> Alright, so messages is for comments and DMs and emails that we get, but since we're new, we don't have them yet. But right now, we wanted to start by thanking some of the YouTube creators that have taught us so much over the last few weeks. And yeah, we've done tons of deep dives through their channels, so we want to give them some credit for the knowledge they've given us. Yeah, <laughs> and so for these first three episodes, we're going to be mentioning the first 25 channels that the algorithm showed us just to send you off to the folks that know what they're talking about because this right. is a channel where we're just starting and we're just learning um but we need you to look at these guys because right. they really know what they're doing and they're they're really fun to watch and today's uh today's channels are right so uh the razor emporium which they cover a lot about the shaving side too where we just do a lot more of the soaps they kind of cover it all um peaceful shaver has been around for a while and we'll bring some oldies back and new ones we kind of Fun to see all of what he had to say. Um, Matthew Lawrence was another one. Greg Tardiff. And then Ken Surfs. And they all have really cool great backgrounds, channels. different variety of ages, and all the things that they talk about. And really great cool. guys to just hang out with and watch them talk about shaving if yeah, you want to go further and... down the rabbit hole with <laughs> us. Uh, you're, you're invited to yes, come along. Yes, we're just learning how much we don't know, which is kind of a fun place to be in. All right. Thank you so much for having us this morning. We started our premiere with a three-episode package and an explainer video. So this is video number two, two. of mm -hmm. three. What's our next one? Our next one is the package we thought wasn't going to make it in time, oh, but, but it, it did, so you will have to find out. It almost got <laughs> lost, but they found it. So a different company, though. So this is our third one will be a whole different company. Holy cow. So stay tuned. You'll see. <laughs> Thank you for spending this time with us. And you smell better just watching.